Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we're currently putting out. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 48 hours. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't stay stuck with your business. And if you're looking to grow and scale to the next level, then you can get in contact with me. There's two ways you can do that. The first one is visit my Calendly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call. I speak to coaches every single day about their business. I help coaches. I'm currently working with coaches. So get in contact with me. I've been in this, this space for, for quite a while now. Uh, so I'll be able to show you some strategies um, and techniques that you can implement today to grow and scale. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can also send me a quick email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Send me an email right there and I'll be able to answer it within 24 hours of once I've received it. So today I want to talk about what are the must-haves for your soccer training business. So if you are currently in business, right, you, some of the things I'm about to share with you today, you might already have them. Uh, some of the things I'm about to talk about today, you might not have them. Okay, so I'm going to show you five things that I made a priority when I first started my coaching business. And these are five things I know that will help you when you either start or you're in growing or you're looking to scale to the next level, right? These five things aren't in order. They're not going to be in order, but I know they will help you uh, one by one. So the first one is business insurance. So at any point within your business, if you need to go and hire out uh, an indoor facility or you need to uh, find some indoor space, whether it be a church hall, a school, um, as I just mentioned, an indoor, uh, it could be an indoor five-a-side uh, facility, any way that you need to hire out indoor right, they will always ask you for insurance, okay, not only that, some places even ask that you are set up legally, so that you are a legally set up business, in order for them to, to hire that facility out to you, now the reason why a lot of these places do that, is because they want to make sure that they're hiring it out to an individual or a company that are legit, Right, so you have you are you have your business set up legally, and also you're insured and covered in the event anything breaks or anything uh, gets damaged while you you're training your clients within that that facility. Right, so the first must have is a uh, business insurance. The second one is website. Okay, a website is fundamental. Right. Pretty much not not so much at the beginning stages of the business, but as you start to grow and as you start to work with more clients and, and as you start to look to, to expand and grow your business, you're going to need a website in order to create a landing page in order for your clients to register and also for any prospect that's looking uh, for extra supplemental training and, you know, they might come across your, your website and they might register to register a phone call to speak with you and you know join your program so the second one is a website a website is really really important because on that website you can set up all your systems and essentially that is where all your leads are going to come in from okay some leads might come in through word of mouth some leads might come in through email but if you have your website set up in a correct way then you'll be able to have all your most of your leads who that are coming in online will either go in through your website and then you can use that to follow up with them and look to close them into your program right the third one is value okay value is something that a lot of coaches don't uh, look at when they're either starting or, or growing their business but essentially value is why clients and why parents invest their money into you if you can provide value if you can solve a problem then parents will exchange their money for your your time 
Okay, if there's no value, then essentially what happens is you don't differentiate yourself from your competitors. And also parents don't will not want to invest in you because they're, they're not you're not solving a problem. You're not you're not bringing something to them that is valuable. OK, so to make this more clearer, value can be something that their child is struggling with. OK, so something that their child is struggling with that your company, your program solves. So it might be a technical uh, struggle that the child is having. Maybe they need extra training to help with their technique. It might be a skill issue. It might be tactical understanding of the game. It might be a confidence issue, right? It might be something that doesn't even go, that's not even related to, to performance, but more about how to find a club in the local area or how to find a team or how to get recruited to play at a pro club or recruited to play at, at the college level, right? So, Value is something that parents uh, look for. And if you provide value, then parents will exchange their hard earned money into your program. And essentially, they'll invest into into your business and become a client of yours. Right now, the fourth one is a payment system. So payment system is how are you going to accept payments from the clients you're working with? Now, a lot of coaches, what they do at the beginning stages of the business is they run the business cash in hand. So they don't have any payment systems in place. Everything is done pretty much either cash or check. Now, that's OK short term. But if you're looking to grow and scale long term and build a successful, sustainable business, you're going to need to have a online payment system that you can transition your clients into monthly subscriptions or a yearly plan, right? Somewhere where parents pay online to be part of your program, right? There's loads of softwares out there at the moment that you can use, right? One we use at our company and one that we encourage coaches to, to invest into is a, a company called Samcart. So Samcart is really good because it, with Samcart, you can create landing pages and you can set up uh, different promotions and billing and types of billing in order for your clients to be able to pay you online uh, rather than you having to ask parents every after every single session for, for cash or, or check. Right. So a payment system is really important because that's that's that essentially does the work for you. Right. You as a business owner want to focus on improving the business, improving the program, adding more value to your clients and focusing on what you love, which is which is training. Okay. You don't want to be keep constantly asking parents for money or hoping that parents bring money uh, on the day of the training session. Right. You want to have that all set up where parents pay online for your training, for your service. And that system is doing the billing for you, right? That system is charging and uh, billing the parents. And essentially that is then going into your, your business account. Right? If you need more help with that, get in contact with me. There's, there's a couple of uh, companies that I currently uh, know of that would be a really good fit for what you are currently doing. Okay. First one, though, is Samcart, which is one that we regularly um, use. It's one that we are partnered with as well our company here at make money coaching sports okay now the fifth one is high quality training okay so when i look at the five must-haves right this one which is it's it's almost like an obvious one because if you have any type of coaching or training business your training has to be good in order for you to attract clients okay but this is also something that a lot of coaches think, OK, if I've got a high quality training or I provide really good training, I'm going to have a successful business. And the truth is, it, it doesn't really work like that because the business aspect of of training, which is selling, promoting, marketing, closing, right, prospecting, uh, follow up, right, all of those aspects of business, which is 
how to grow and, and expand your clientele is very different to what you do on the training field. What you do on the training field okay, should be something that comes second nature to you because it's something that essentially that's the reason why you wanted to go in the, into business in the first place. Because you're good at what you do, you love what you do, and now you want to make it a full-time living where you, you're waking up every single day and you're doing what you love a full-time and as, as a full-time job. All right, so high-quality training is a must-have because, you, you know, if you have really good high-quality training, then you need to have a really high-quality business. You can't have really good training and then your, your business systems are really poor because you're not going to be in business for very long. Okay, and clients are ultimately going to suss that out and they'll leave you for someone else. Okay, so good training plus good, a good business goes hand in hand in order for success. All right, if you can have a good business, a mediocre training, then, you know, you, you will have clients because you're really good at the business aspect, but you're not going to have clients that stick with you for, for longer than nine months or, or 12 months, right? You're always going to have clients that come and go, you know, every two or three months. So having a really good business, having good high quality training, adding value to the clients you're working with is essentially the, 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 the secret or the formula to having a successful business. Okay, so if you want more help with this, and it, or if you want more help with any of the five things I shared with you on this video, get in contact with me. Again, you can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call. We jump on Zoom. I can see where you're at with your business, see where you want to get to, show you some actionable steps, or you can send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. All right, before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.